are you doing? It's my fiance smoothie. She'll kill me. All right, guys, we got a uh, different video today. A little install. Let's get to the garage. What's going on, guys? Uh, today we're just doing a little video, kind of like an install video. Um, nothing really crazy. Uh, I've had the SRT for, for most of you that know, I've had the SRT for like 13 years now, I think, going on, I think it's like 13, 14 years. Um, I haven't really changed the, like, the outside look of it much. Uh, I got a package uh, from Modern Performance right next to me here. Uh, the only thing that I've really done is like the carbon fiber, uh, the wheels, the tint in the windows, and that's really it. Um, I did a trunk, SXT trunk from uh, the junkyard. I got it for like $15. Uh, it's my first time ever doing body work. I bondoed and fill, I filled the, tr uh, the trunk lock and the third brake light. And uh, it looks okay in my eyes. I'm sure if you do body work or if you know somebody who does body work, they'll look at it, they'll probably be like, it's not the greatest. And, and I agree. I mean, but like I said, it was my very first time ever doing any kind of body work. Um, but to the average person, they think it looks good. I've had multiple people try to buy it from me, and I'll probably just sell it for really cheap or give it away to somebody local here um, if I decide to go with a carbon fiber trunk at some point in time. But uh, yeah, I also got the carpet. Um, the SRTs usually don't come with the carpet in the trunk uh, on the on the actual needs a clip right there. Um, but this trunk is just from like from the junkyard. Got it for like two dollars, and uh, I think it looks better than uh, just having the open, exposed, bare metal. But um, there was one thing I got here I used to dislike a lot. Um, I already opened it. I just wanted to make sure that they were okay when I uh, got them the other day. But uh, I always disliked like aftermarket taillights. I don't know why. I always, I guess, liked the stock taillights. And the more, the older I get, and the more that I own the car, I start to like kind of dislike them. And, uh, it's just you really can't like separate like I guess like when they when they built the SRT4 they you know they changed the bumper changed the engine and so on you know the, the main things they changed from a regular neon to an SRT4 neon um, but they kept the taillights the same kept the headlights you know the same um, so the taillights like I said for 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 an everyday person they see this SRT this neon as is with no wing on it they probably think it's just a regular neon with a loud annoying exhaust so today i'm going to spice up the exterior of the car a little bit and uh see if i like it i've seen it on a bunch of other cars i kind of like them the only thing i don't like about these ones is the uh reverse but i went with the uh the depot the depot tail lights uh there's an led tail like i was saying i just don't like this so I, I might just tint uh do like a vinyl tint and uh, tint the whole outside. That way, you don't. This doesn't stand out as much. But um, they're. I feel like they're not. They're kind of like. I, I don't like call them ricey. They're not ricey, but they're clean looking. I don't know. Compared to some other tail lights I've seen out there from the SRTs, they're pretty ricey. I feel like this is probably like one of the, the nicer ones. I've had Depot headlights on my old Neon in the past, and they were very good quality. Um, so I figured if I'm going to go with the tail light and might as well go with the depot. Um, they've been good to me. So um, all it is is three, I think 13 mils, and you pretty much take the bulb out of the old one, and you don't even need, actually, need a bulb since it's LED, and you uh, just plug it in right into the socket, and then you put the three uh, 13 millimeter nuts back on. And in my car, I have the uh, kicking living loud system. So I have a 10 inch kicker sub that's actually blocking this tail. You can kind of see it right here. Um, usually it's being held on by a few other things, but I decided to pretty much only put one bolt to hold on. You don't need much to hold on the subwoofer. Um, there's a bunch of other like small bolts and clips that usually hold it on, but I don't think that's needed. So, um, so like I said, the only thing you really need for this is um, 13 mil socket and some type of 
tool to pull the clips off. I prefer this. I do have the plastic ones. Um, it's just simple, easy, but I do have the plastic ones just in case. Yeah, so there's two clips on each side. I think they hold on. You can peel back the carpet and uh, take out three, three nuts and done. Ryan <laughs> Take the old bulb out, the uh, brake light, and the harness for the new one clips right inside. Pretty simple. And then you just insert the reverse into the uh, housing for that, and you're good to go. So this is what up close stock tail light. Um, the nice thing about these tail lights is, if you ever break one, there's thousands and thousands of neons everywhere, and you can find them from dirt cheap. Um, I'll probably keep them just in case if like one leaks, one cracks, or something happens to it, uh, something goes out, LED goes out or something, but uh, yeah, I mean, it's a really good condition. It's only got 50,000 miles on it. Could, got a little wax on there, but could use a nice little buffing, clean it up. Um, yeah, I'll just shove it under my workbench where I put all my other extra neon and Miata parts. So I was talking to my buddy Ian, um, most of you guys know Ian, we were talking about doing a sequential setup on this. I wish it's like already scratched from the damn, kind of just a tiny little scratch. The shit bothers me. I mean, I can always buff it. Um, but doing like a sequential setup so where they uh, flash and sequence for like the left blinker, right blinker and uh, stuff like that. But to be honest, I really don't care. Um, there is a, a kit where you just take out a couple screws here. This whole harness cut the whole like box everything chipboard comes out and uh, you can install new LEDs with the new uh, chipboard set it's like $400, $500, I think it's like $600 with the Bluetooth, rem Bluetooth remote and it's like $400 without the Bluetooth remote where it just does the sequential uh, three light setup for the blinkers um, and then I think the flash for the brakes, flash and then solid for brakes but um, to be honest, I really don't care too much to be able to spend, you know, $500 with shipping and everything to get pretty much a whole new inside piece for these. Um, they're just not worth it. These headlight, these tail lights alone are like $150 shipped. So I feel like spending another $500 on some $150 tail lights really, it's just not worth it. So um, I'd rather put the money towards some uh, retrofit headlights I'm looking at. That's probably going to cost me somewhere around the $500 to $1,000 range. Um, with the de red demon eye and be able to uh, change the color to whatever I want. So um, it's something I'm looking forward to getting, but I'd rather put my money towards that instead of a sequential setup for my, my taillights. All right, pretty simple. Old bulb, don't need it, can go in the garbage. So that's what it looks like. Uh, let me throw these boxes up here, so kind of get a look at the tail light set up here. Got so many boxes for moving. Um, yeah, so that's what the tail light looks like on this side, and stock tail light on this side. Like I said, I don't hate the stock tail lights, but I just think this gives it a little bit of a extra look. Um, just kind of spice up the outside a little bit. Um, as most of you guys know, I was talking about how I'm going to do, uh, go back to the black and silver theme, kind of how I had it about eight years ago. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to keep these wheels for right now or if I'm going to get different wheels. I have been talking to uh, one of the guys at Discount Tire, uh, one of the managers, a good friend of mine, and uh, working on some something a little bit different. Uh, I do want to go with a five spoke. I know I've told you guys that in the past, and uh, I did find one and it's a little, almost a little too aggressive, I'm not sure. Gotta do my research and see if it fits. I usually don't like going 18s, but it's like 18 by nine or 18 by eight and a half. It's a pretty aggressive setup. It's like plus 33 uh, offset. So it's not like the Miata where um, I have a zero offset and it's very aggressive. Um, but for the, for the SRT, it's a pretty aggressive wide big uh, wheel setup so we'll see if we'll do it um, I found the wheel I want or at least the style and a couple other wheels that will fit 
Um, and then I just gotta decide uh, what color I wanna wrap the car in July. I think I finally narrowed it down to uh, two different ones um, with I'd say the number one color with a good lead of like 70% over the, uh, the other color. So we'll get onto that another day, but um, let's throw the other one on real quick and uh, get this thing finished. Just like that, she's done uh, pretty quick, pretty simple, pretty self-explanatory on it. Change the taillight. I would take the car out, but I have a car blocking me outside. It's a family member that's visiting, and uh, they're not here, so uh, can't take it out and do pictures, but I was planning on it. But let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Um, like I said, it's you're different. I don't know, like I said, I went years and years and years of hating these taillights, but I think with the next thing that's coming, I think it's gonna look really good. Also, comment down below, let me know if you think I should do like a smoke tail, uh, like a tint. I'm gonna do the vinyl wrap, uh, not that stupid night shades where you have to spray it on and it's a bitch to get off, but uh, let me know if you think I, the only reason, only reason why I think I would tint them is just because of that reverse. But uh, yeah. I think it looks really good. I don't know if it's all hard to see on the uh, camera, but that's what they look like at night. Lit up pretty good. It's got. It does have like. I'm guessing that's probably the blinker of some sort. I don't know. Let me let me hit the blinker and see uh, what she does. Like I said, I've never really experienced these tails before. Wow, those are loud. That is crazy on how loud that is. I don't know if you guys can hear that. Hmm. I've never, I never knew that they were that loud when I uh, hit the blinker. Especially when they're lit up, I really love them. And I think once the next part comes, I think you guys will love them. I just gotta figure out if I'm gonna smoke them or not. So comment down below, let me know what you think. Should I? Should I tip my tails or should I just leave them as is? Maybe, maybe we'll wait until uh, the next part comes and see, see what you guys think. But that's pretty much it guys. Um, this weekend, well last weekend, I was gonna shoot a video for Proving Grounds, didn't shoot a video. I just did some photography, uh, went by myself. Uh, plans kind of failed with some people who were gonna go with me. Um, so I just did some photography, sat by myself for about five to seven hours and uh, chilled. Didn't really do much. So then, uh, this weekend I have Shano, the big drift event uh, in near Green Bay in Wisconsin, and I'll be shooting an event there for Drift Day Limited Edition, like the big, the best of the best pretty much come out to drive. So uh, we'll shoot that, and then next weekend we have a 10K drift event to shoot. So I got a couple of different uh, like drift event videos I'll probably be shooting, but um, after that I'll be getting back to the Miata and the SRT. Got some stuff for the Miata, and like I said, I got something else big coming for the SRT. Comment below if you think you know what it is. But uh, anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you in the next video. Have a great day. Have a great weekend. Be safe. We'll catch you later. Peace.